G'day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing a bit of a follow-up video to my Moto X4 review. Now in my review, I gave a real rant about the camera of the Moto X4. And last night, one of my subscribers, or one of my viewers, I should say, left a comment on my video, and this is what he said. So the viewer's name was Atom, and Atom said to me, have you heard about the ported, modded HDR Plus Google camera app over on XDA developers? Since the Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 processor has a hexagon DSP and Spectra ISP, it can utilize the Google camera app ported for Snapdragon 820, 821 and 835 phones. Said ported app allows this device to take much better photos than with the Motorola camera app as the phone has a good camera hardware, but Motorola has software is pitiful and poorly optimized. And probably the reason why your phone sucks up so much battery using the included camera app, even when it's efficient otherwise. With the ported camera app, you probably won't get photos that are as good as the Galaxy S8 Plus, because I did mention the Galaxy S8 Plus, but you should be getting good photos. First thing, Atom, you're a legend for pointing this out to me. I really appreciate it. You're right, I did mention the Galaxy S8 Plus a lot in my review, and I didn't mean to compare the Moto X4 to the S8 Plus, but it's just something I do because I'm filming with the S8 Plus, so I own it, I do appreciate it. So I did download it, and I'm going to show you how I did that. So I went to XDA Developers, and I used the app XDA Labs right here, make the video as short as possible for you and here we are so I'm going to link this down in the bottom for you so you can all download it and you can all install it so the topic Google camera HDR plus port on Moto X4 and like I said the links down below so you go down hit this link here if you do it from your phone it'll save you a lot of hassle Okay, here's a, a download link for the port. Scroll down. Download Google Camera 4.4 mod with HDR Plus. Hit yes. Click here to start download, standby, searching for mirrors, mirrors found, updating links, click yes. This type of file can harm your device, do you want to install, keep Gcam, blah 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 blah. I'm going to say yes. Go to my notifications, you can see it's downloading. Download complete. Now. Before I install it, you do want to go into your settings, scroll down to security, security. When you're in security, you want to scroll down, allow installation of apps from unknown sources. When you're in there, you want to tap it and make it possible for you to do so. Once you've done that, you go back out, go back to your download, download complete, click yes. Do you want to install an update to this existing application? And that's because I've already got it installed. Your existing data will not be lost. It does not require any special access. So I'm just going to go install. And that's the same options you would have would be install. Now it's saying it's corrupt. That's probably because I've already downloaded it. Done. But I'll just show you. Camera. Here it is. So let's take a couple of photos. See how much faster that is to the standard camera app. Now, I think the quality of the photos is about the same. In fact, we're going to have a look at some examples. So, um, I don't think the quality of the photo has changed. But just having a tap the button and it takes the photo, no lag with the shutter, is what I want. And that's what I got. So, again, huge shout out to Adam for pointing this out to us. And shout out to the developers that make this stuff possible. And here's the front facing camera. Again, front facing camera.
Now the depth effect definitely worked better on the Motorola because it was taking advantage of the dual camera, the second camera. With the Google camera app it only uses a single 12 megapixel shooter so your, your quality is a little bit different. Motorola, shame on you. Some developer has to create this app for us or work with this to give us better options than Motorola does. Not happy about that, but thankfully they did. Uh, Atom, thank you for pointing this out to us. Big shout out to you, buddy. Everyone, give me a thumbs up and a like and a share and all that stuff. I hope you appreciate my videos. Download the Google Modded Camera app for your Motorola Moto X4 and you'll be much happier, at least with the uh, basic point and shoot mode anyway. So that's it for this one, fellas. Ladies, catch us in the next one. Check ya.